Let's go to New Jersey next. What do you say? Let's see what Dolores is up to. Hey, Dolores, thanks for the phone call. You are live. Hello. How are you? Well, I'm great, Dolores, but hopefully I'll get better. What's going on in New Jersey? Hey, Dolores, by the way, which exit are you at in New Jersey? Exit, um, 40. Yeah, which I exit? 49, exit off the turnpike. That's how I know New Jersey, right? Which exit are you off the turnpike? Uh, that's, that's how everybody knows New Jersey, okay. right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have two questions. But on Sunday, all of a sudden, it was like I thought my hair was down over my glasses, but it wasn't. So when I went to the doctor the next day, he said it was a floater. So have oh, you ever heard of a floater? Oh, yeah. I've heard, eye? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the main cause of floaters in the eyes, um, well, there's two things that cause that. Number one is dehydration, not enough water intake. Uh, and number two is um, something called free radical damage and you know that happens if you eat oil uh, that's in a bottle or fried food or really any of the 10 bad foods but the two biggest culprits there that you know make the eye go funky like that are fried foods and any type of oil that's in a bottle but you know um, you also need something in the body called antioxidants in order to help the body deal with that and so it would be prudent for you um, to get on board with more antioxidants. Are you taking selenium, I hope? No, I'm, I'm taking everything that came in that package. That okay. um, healthy um, 90 for life, healthy yeah. body start. Okay, that. so I would, how, much do you, how much do you weigh? I weigh um, 62. All right. I would, in addition, order two bottles of Ultimate Selenium, let me spell you that for you. Yeah. Um, it's S like Sam, E, L like Larry, E, L. N like Nancy, I, U, M, selenium, ultimate uh, yeah. selenium. Get two bottles of that. And also, Dolores, have you ever heard of something called green tea? Ever heard of green tea? Oh, green tea, yeah. Yeah, get some green tea and drink it like a son of a gun. Just drink a lot really? of green tea. Yeah, drink a lot of green tea for the next week. Drink more water than you're used to. And I bet you that that floater is going to disappear. Yeah, because according to the doctor, he's saying, oh, no, it's not going. You know, it'll be there. You well, know, the like nothing idiot. you could do because he has it, too. Yeah, well, so there you go. So, right, we all get together, and misery loves company. So, you know, the medical doctor's wrong. Um, I get floaters all the time myself, and they disappear when really? I, yeah, when I drink more water and increase my consumption of antioxidants. It's a funny thing because dehydration is one of the leading causes of this, and dehydration is a funny thing uh, because uh, you can be drinking adequate amounts of water, but if you're drinking coffee or tea, even if it's iced tea, mm. the, those things are diuretic, and that means the more coffee that you drink, the more water your body pees out, right? Mm hmm so if you're drinking too much coffee, like if you go on a bender for, you know, a week and you double down on the amount of coffee because you've got something to do, you've got a job that you have to do or something that, you know, you need to stay awake for or whatever, mm -hmm. you can become dehydrated because you're drinking too much coffee and your body's peeing out more fluids than you're taking in. So. But how do you know you're dehydrated? Because I don't get thirsty, you know. Yeah, well, it's a hard thing to know. I mean, the, the only way that you can really know this, um, and it, it's kind of a weird experiment, um, but, well, floaters, the presence of floaters would be one indication that you're a little dehydrated. Uh, but really the only way that you can know is for 24 hours in a row, every time you drink something, and I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's water, tea, coffee, juice, milk, you know, vodka, Collins. I don't care what it is. Every time you drink something, you measure how many ounces it is before you drink it. You measure how many ounces oh. it is, and you write it down. Mm -hmm. and you look to see the ounces you drink in 24 hours. And then every time you pee, and this is hard, this isn't easy for women, mm -hmm. but every time you pee, you have to capture it and measure it and see how many ounces it is. Oh, really? And look to, yeah, and then look to see in the course of 24 hours whether you're peeing out more than you're drinking in. Oh, 
Mm. And if you are, you're dehydrated. Um, mm-hmm. That's kind of an old-fashioned naturopathic way to do it. But, you know, what I would do as an experiment, um, I would just drink 12 more ounces of water a day than mm-hmm. you're used to. Drink 12 more ounces of water a day than you're used to. Mm-hmm. I drink more green tea uh, and see what happens to the floater. Okay. Now, 